Okay, we all know what vaporize means. It means that you take something pretty much solid or liquid and you turn it into atom, atomize it. Basically, you just turn it into spray or fine particles or smoke or whatever, but you break it down into its smallest, tiniest bits. That's what to vaporize something means. Now, can we vaporize light? Well, yes, we can. Because <laughs> this is light. That's red laser light. All right, what was creating that red glow is this red laser light, but this is the photon. That's actually the particle. They say it's a particle wave duality. Well, yes, because that particle is magnetic. It has a positive and a negative, back to back, two, two literally electrons together with a magnetic field around them. So as it goes through, the field forces everybody else to get out of the way. So that's the wave, as I showed you a second ago, and the particle sits in the middle of that wave that goes through. So don't forget, that's the wave. And the particle would be way back here. Now, can we vaporize that? Yes, we can. And here's what we did to vaporize it. We took that wave and we pulled the particle completely out of the wave and exploded it, vaporized it, at the Venturi. Now I showed you that's the particle that's making the wave in front of it, and we broke that particle into bits and pieces. And here it is right here. There's the particle that was that little box, just like here, and here it is exploded. Now the black balls have gone away from the white particle. The white particle created electron showers. And the, white, uh, the black ball is, did not change whatsoever. Remember it was black and white back here? The black ball still stays a black ball and reunites with the white spray after the Venturi. In this region right here is what's called extreme energy. And they, um, there's a term for it, oh boy, I can't remember right now, uh, the W and Z bosons. And they are sp literally hundreds and hundreds of times more energy there than there was here. And we excited it for free. So that is free energy. Okay, so this is electron flood theory. This is my new model of really everything because it solves 100% of any material interactions. If any kind of, anybody can present me with anything, sprites, um, I mean it, it covers everything. The electron is a half of a photon, but the electron not has just electron explosive part, it has the black part which is this muon. Now a muon neutrino is just a muon sitting around attached to an electron neutrino. So that is what a muon and an electron neutrino look like that. Now, if you took two of those and put them together, you make a photon. That's what I was showing you, that we exploded and vaporized and moved the actual black particles away from the white particles, completely separated them. This is a whole new realm in physics. So let's recap quickly. We are in the light realm. This is light. This is not big photon, uh, protons and molecules and BBs and shotgun shells. No, these are, this is light from a red laser. It's light. It's literally the smallest thing that we know of, except electron is smaller. And then we have the muon and we have the electron shower and we have this extreme energy, these bosons. And all the reason is it's extreme is because the black ball has now gotten away from the white particle and it says, I really want you back. Come on, baby. Boom. And they come back together with an absolute vengeance. And that is where your energy is. If we can get in between that energy slap, we can take this and, and use it to do work. It's as simple as that.